What's up, YouTubers? It's me, Johnny. Had an interesting conversation last night with another foreigner. We got to talking about mating and dating, different different cultural differences between, like, say, Mexico, Colombia, uh, Guatemala, and even we got down to talking about different cost of living. This this gentleman has been in here in Central America, I think about a month or so. He noted the cost of living is quite a bit lower in Mexico than uh, Guatemala. I've, I've kind of said that before. So then we got to talking about because he was in Colombia. And I know some of my viewers live in Colombia or visit there frequently. And he was just comparing Guatemala to Colombia. He, he thought it was about half as much. I mean, Colombia is half as half as expensive especially for going out, doing stuff like that. And um, also two groceries because I don't really shop at the markets. I mean the supermarket. I shop more in the local markets, in the open-air markets. And he is noticing that the cost of living is, is on scale with the United Kingdom and some of the other European places he's lived, which I thought was, was really fascinating. And then we got down to talking about uh, how conservative culture can be, especially in Shela, but in Guatemala in general. His experience, he flew in with, well, he just flew in with some people and uh, into Mexico, and they met some women there and had a fairly good time. Not a lot of getting to know each other, that kind of thing. <laughs> he is. He was also commenting on how a lot of Mexican women look like European women, which, which is true. I've commented on that before. Like, there's a lot of French and Italian and German heritage in the north, in the northern part of Mexico. I can only comment on places I've been, but like when you're in Mazatlan, Durango, in that part of Mexico, there's a lot of Italian people from Italian descent, French descent, and German descent there. And you can meet women with, you know, real blonde hair and strawberry blonde hair, that kind of thing. So when you hear about that kind of thing, kind of, it just depends what part of Mexico you're in. But he was just comparing the dating scene and how you can meet women there. They're more open to meeting Westerners and that kind of thing. And whereas here, it's less so. And it takes a couple months of dating women to kind of get to a certain amount of intimacy, which I think he, he found a little frustrating. But we, we really were talking about how it's totally it can it can be totally different where some parts of, of Latin America are super conservative and it takes a while to get to know people. And that's what I talk about. Like you can get a lower cost of living by just building up trust with people over a long period of time. Whereas if you don't know anyone, your rents might be like this much. And then as you get to know people, those same people rent to you quite a bit cheaper. A lot depends on what people think about you, how they like you. You know, do they trust you? Because that's one thing I was talking. We were talking about last night is people are more not just conservative, but they're more what I what I call the um, kind of like in Germany or Central Europe. They're more uh, oh, not distant, but they can be distant conservative. Um, they're not as open to meeting people. We were talking about that. It's not the word I use, but anyways, he was commenting on how he met Americans and you can get down with Americans, start talking about your life history and all that. Whereas in Latin America, well, in Guatemala, people don't do that as much. So, so depending on what you want, I was, I was just telling him go all over Mexico because there's different, there's, you know, different Mexicos and different culture and, Mexicans can be more like Americans and they're more outgoing. And I was just telling them, like a lot of Guatemalans I've met over the years here have told me that even sometimes they prefer dating Mexican women as opposed to Guatemalan women. And that's probably a little controversial. Um, and how Mexico in general, Mexicans are way more outgoing. Both, I've had quite a few teachers here. <coughs> who've expressed the view that Mexican men and women are way more outgoing than Guatemalans. Guatemalans can be a lot more shyer, uh, distant, 
Another thing he pointed out, which I agreed with, is here, but in general, in Latin America in general, but especially here, women regard a lot of men as just coming down here for one night stands. So they kind of safeguard themselves from that kind of thing. So that's another thing. So if you're looking for more, you know, romance, overnight romances, Colombia and Mexico, Colombia and Mexico can be better for that and a little cheaper. But like I said from previous videos, South American currencies have really melted down against the dollar. So South America right now can be just in general quite a bit cheaper than Central America and Mexico. Anyways, we had a pretty good conversation, talked a lot, a lot of, a lot of the big, big cultural differences between Mexicans and Guatemalans and costs of living. I even, I've even pointed out like if you get on the Facebook channel or the Facebook groups, a lot of people will tell you, Mexico going to be quite a bit cheaper than, say, Guatemala. And then there's a lot of people get angry about that because they don't think that's the case. We were also talking about quality. Like if you spend $30, $40 in Mexico, the hotel has is a much higher standard for a $30, $40 hotel in Guatemala. That's one of my beefs is Guatemala isn't as developed. But that's partly why I like it because it's not as developed. But it means good quality stuff can cost you a lot more. And a lot of the quality stuff is imported from either the States or, or Mexico or, or Asia, like China. So there's that. But then there's a lot of handcrafted stuff made here that's of, of a high standard, too. So there's it just depends what you want as far as romance and dating. And as far as um, if you want more of a Western Europe or a United States kind of lifestyle, you, you might want to go to like other places. If you want more of a traditional type romance, I was just explaining to him. It's kind of like that in the Philippines. Like in the Philippines, just, there's girls that you can meet, date and mate with right away. And then there's girls that it takes, it could take months or years to get to know them. And that's how you can kind of tell if a girl likes you. If she just sleeps with you right away, probably doesn't like you that much. If she blows you off, you know, that's kind of telling you kind of the kind of family she comes from. So it's kind of like that here, except for the difference here. There's, there's a language gap, at least for me. But here it's more it's it's more traditional. Like if you want a more traditional type of relationship, that's what you could expect here. And if you want something more like Europe or United States, you would go. In Me I, I say Mexico because it's, it's what I'm used to. It's where I've spent a lot of time. But it's because the cultural the culture is so not the same but similar to the states. And women's expectations are quite a bit different like here women here women here and in say the philippines they don't really want to work in my experience they just want to get married have kids and have a family places like mexico the states is quite a bit different women expect to have a career maybe have a lot of dating partners things like that whereas here it's, it's a little bit more conservative so it's just depending on what you want what you what you value and yeah, it's just super, super, way more conservative here, in my opinion. Anyways, there's a few other things I, I, I just can't remember from this conversation. But it was an interesting conversation on how his expectations, he thought it would be super, super, super cheap. And it turned out to be way more expensive, at least going to a grocery store and hotels. Meaning he just flat out told me hotels, a good quality hotel here is the same price as in the UK. It's kind of surprised me. In, in a way, it didn't really surprise me, but kind of in a way, uh, I would say from my experience, if you're spending 30, 40 bucks, you can get a good quality hotel in, in uh, Mexico that's it's of a much, much higher standard than, in, say, in Central America. I'm just generalizing, though, but just as a generalization, like compared to Guatemala. And here you get you can get really super cheap hotels, but the quality is not that great. And a lot of times you can spend 30, 40 bucks on hotel, and it's just a concrete box with no windows and it can leave you a little disappointed. We were talking about that too. That's happens to me frequently. It's why I don't like traveling around as much. And just because of how things develop, the roads here, it takes a long time just to go a short distance. Whereas in Mexico, you can get like the same distance would take you 30, 40 minutes it, to here. It could take you two to three hours. And now there's a lot more strikes for like the highway. So sometimes you can't even get to the capital when you want to, because they're striking about something. But anyways, that's neither here nor there, but just is what it is. 
But because of the development is so much more in some parts of Latin America, prices for, for stuff can be a lot lower because there's more competition where there's less development. There's a lot of competition for good quality stuff, so it's going to cost you a lot more. But you can adjust for that by shopping in the markets, getting to know people, you know, really having to look much, much harder for a cheaper place to live as far as getting rents and apartments, things like that. The other difference is if because we were talking about working. If you're going to work, it's better to work in Mexico or like Panama because the wages are going to be much higher. Yeah, or work online. We were talking about that too because we were talking about how the wages are so low here. It's, it's, it's really amazing how people get by. They don't get by in very much. kind of reminds me of colonial United States when people ate a lot of bread, and that's kind of what people do here. It's not the healthiest way to live, but that's how people get by. That's why there's so many bakeries here in Pandorias. Anyways, I thought I'd share these comments because people ask me about dating. It's it's very conservative here. It, it takes a while to get to know people. And it's different than, say, if you were in Colombia or, or Mexico from what I've been told. But but that my experience are more, more in Mexico, Philippines, stuff like that. I compare here to Philippines quite a bit. But there are differences like the language barriers is totally different. And there are women you, you can meet date and mate here really fast but that's going to be more in like antigua and it's a certain type type of situation that I, you know you'll come you'll know it when you come across it and um yeah that's it that's all, that's all i got for now anyways like share subscribe and leave a comment thank you